Tsu Gay Lane. Look at that. Oh, sh dude, they're coming right at us. Oh, there there's we go. Dude, look at that. Like a gubby looking thing. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, no. Delia, especially. Oh! I'm, oh, I'm on! What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I've been gone for a couple weeks. I've been super busy running around, traveling like crazy. What can I say? But I'm back now, and today I'm going to be visiting my favorite new app, and that is Timu. Timu is an online marketplace very similar to Amazon, eBay, or even Wish.com. But the key difference is the products on Timu are way better, and they ship a lot faster than Wish.com. We're going to be looking for the coolest and most random budget fishing gear that we can find, and it's not good enough to just find that gear. We have to then take the gear out to a local pond, put it to good use, and make sure it gets the job done. We're talking about everything, folks, from rod to reel to fishing line and to the actual lures themselves. We got to find everything. It's a free app to download from the App Store. Once you have the app downloaded, use my promo code LOJO100, and you're going to get $100 worth of coupons just to check out the app. There'll be a link right at the top of the description, so make sure you click that, download the app, so you can see for yourself how cool it actually is. That is today's challenge. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like these kind of challenges, just make sure you're hitting the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel so you don't miss anything. Let's get to shopping. All right, here we are off to Timu yet again. Oh shoot, we got a wheel spin. Let's just spin it just in case. Oh, oh, oh. $100 coupon bundle, baby. All right, so we need some fishing gear. We know that much for sure. And when you type in fishing gear on a website like this or an app like this, you're gonna have literally thousands if not millions of potential results now i know i want everything i want rod reel line lures absolutely everything one purchase and i feel like they're gonna have something like that if i keep looking dude there's some crazy stuff in here dude look at these lure kits i mean there's like hundreds of lures in here look at that there's grubs there's frogs worms all kinds of hard baits oh i switched the picture Got terminal tackles, spinner baits, jig heads, spoons. Wow. All kinds of crazy fishing tools, fish traps, reels, sunglasses. Oh, oh, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? I just saw something. Now that right there looks like it might have everything. There's no way that's only $34. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. No way. I, oh, here we go. Guys, check it out. Sugay Lang, Lang potentially. Bait casting fishing rod and reel combo. Five section, portable fishing pole, 7.2 gear, gear ratio, bait casting reel, fishing lure kit for travel, saltwater, freshwater fishing set. The keywords, gotta get the keywords in there. Get them in there. Now, just judging by the picture, that's a little unsafe to do, but I'm just saying if we go by the picture, I see. Fishing line right there. I see lures, some terminal tackle right there. There's definitely a rod because there's pieces. There's five pieces, one, two, three, four, five. And there's a fishing reel that actually looks kind of dope. You mean to tell me all this is $34? That can't be right. I have to be misreading this. It's saying it's $34. If that's true, if all of this stuff comes in a $34 package and everything's there and everything works, this will be an absolute win. Let's see, are there any real reviews here? This guy commented on June the 14th, 2023. This setup is actually really nice, slightly smaller rod than I'm used to, but it works well. But it works well. This reel is smooth and has all the settings of a normal $100 reel. Really? And so far, the backlashing has been minimal. The line is quality and just the right amount to fully spool the reel. As for the lures and knickknacks that comes with it, they're mostly junk. Oh, but it's to be expected from such a cheap combo. The bobber and bell are nice to have. There's a bobber and a bell in there? Oh, and there's the bell right there. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a bobber and a bell. Well, I have to admit, it's a little bit light on the lures that are available in here, but it technically has everything that you need. Okay, yeah, there's the bobber. There's some of the lures, it's like some paddle tail swim baits, maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at that bass. Is that... Is that Lunker's TV? Is that Robert Turkla? Y'all, <laughs> they just sort of steal his picture and slap it on Timu. Oh, I can't wait to tell him. I'm gonna text him. Dude, look at that reel. I mean, if the reel 
is decent at all, this is a huge win. Because for $34, correct me if I'm wrong, I would spend that on a quality reel any day of the week. All right, well, I'm gonna add this to the cart. I think I've seen all I need to see. All right, folks, the order has been placed. Now all we have to do is wait. I cannot wait to see this package in its entirety, see what all comes in and go put it to the test on some real fish in a real situation, in a real pond. I'll see you guys there. All right, folks, it's been about a week and a half. Here is the package. And I'm not sure if everything's in there. I mean, I, this is supposed to have like a rod, a reel, line, and lures. Ain't I, no way. Ain't no way. I don't know, let's see. I'm an open-minded kind of guy, so I'm willing to, to think that it's all in there. I like your optimism. Oh, there it is. Dude, I recognize that. You ever seen that before? Uh, can you pronounce that? Sugailing. Okay. And I've, I know that because I've had people in the comment section like sound it out for me before. Are you getting bit by horse? Yeah, legs? dude, something's tearing my legs up, bro. <laughs> I believe that's Sugailing or Sugailang. Sugailang. I, it's one of those two. Okay, there's a rod. Oh, <laughs> look at this thing. It's in a tiny little sleeve. What the heck? You talk about a pocket rod, my guy. No kidding. Look at that. It says 2.1 meters. So that's like a six, six foot, four or five inch rod right there. Yep. What's next here? I see an actual fishing kit. Here we go. Okay. Dang. Okay, there's some colors in there for sure. Dude, look at that inline spinner that's right what there. what I was looking at. That thing's kind of sick. Some like little mini paddle tail swim baits. I'm not sure what that is. Look at that little crankbait. Little oh, crank bait. that's sick. And some hooks, some bobber stops, some random colored wow. bobber stops. Look at that. Okay, here's some line. Look, there's, they got their own line. Look at the samurai. I love it, dude. That's so sick. I don't know how much it is, but it looks like uh, it's braid. Oh, I got a peek of the color. Did you? Oh my goodness. Yep. Look at that color. Let's go. Okay, this has got to be the reel then, right? It is. It's a reel. All of the stuff fit in this little package That's crazy. right here. That's crazy. I didn't think it was all in there. All right, y'all ready for this? This this thing might be a heater right here. Look at that. Dude. Look at that. Oh, shoot. It looks, it looks cool. Looks freaking clean, man. Dude, feel that. Put your hands on that thing. Oh, okay. Okay. It clicked. It's got clickies. Let's see about the tension knob. No, tension mm, doesn't click. But I mean, perfect. hey, everything came that was supposed to be in here. It came with everything. That was my goal, was to make one purchase and have every single thing that you would need to catch fish. And I believe we have that here. Time to assemble this combo. Oh, this is not a telescopic rod. This is just a, a multi-piece job here. Hook your pole. Hang on, brother. Okay, well this freaking handle is legit, man. Dude, it's gonna match so well. Look at that. Actually, I'm not even gonna show that yet because we gotta get this all together. But look at that, dude. It's got a little cranker handle right there to adjust the real seat. I mean. That looks good. The accents aren't bad. You got some information here. What do we got? That's a, where's the length? Length 10 meters, that's not, no, 2.1. That's right, we already figured that out. So it's like a six and a half foot, Medium heavy, perhaps? Medium, is that what that M stands Maybe. for? Maybe, perhaps, I, I don't know. Oh, that's definitely upside down. Okay, we're off to a good start. Hey, you got this, dude. That looks pretty straight to me. What are you yeah, it looks pretty straight. Dude, look how this rod came together, man. Look at this thing. It looks good. Not bad at all. Oh, look at the branding. Yeah, that look actually looks good. The red branding. Let's throw this reel on there. There we go. Oh my, look at that. That combo, there's people that pay $100 for that combo That's right sexy, there. sexy, dude. Just for the combo. Wait till we put the line on there. I'm not sure if I picked this color or if this is just what came. I could see you picking that. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's some. those are some odd color choices to go on the same spool, but um, you know, hey, I'm not judging. This looks to be like some 20 pound braid, 10 pound braid, I don't know, it's pretty thin. All right, we're going on there, we're starting yellow. We're about to change color though. Starting with yeller. Here comes the blue. That's kind of sick. Dude, man. I kind of like that. I'm ready for this pink and purple. Oh, here comes the pink. Let's go. Dang, I didn't realize there was more colors underneath. There's Dang. more colors. It's got green now. We're riding it, taking the dog for a walk. There he goes. Dude, this is gonna be sick when it casts, dude. Yeah, it's it go, is. It's gonna go through all those colors. 
Got yellow now, back to yellow, and now it's just gonna go around and around. That's kinda sick. Yeah, that is cool. So I gotta give Sue Galen some props on the line and how they do it, because I'm really digging this. Boom, look at that, man. Look at that. That kinda looks sick. Dude, the whole combo looks great. Now that we have this combo built, the challenge is very simple. We need to take the lures that came in this fishing kit right here, and we need to catch some fish, plain and simple. Now, there's two things here. One, really none of these lures are meant to be thrown on a bait casting setup, except maybe this little inline spinner, which looks like it might be kind of heavy. But notice how small and slight all of these lures are. Throwing them on a very inexpensive bait caster with braid, not that good of an idea. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I am guilty of bringing a couple extra side lures, just stuff that I would normally have in my truck, just in case we can't get it done with this, but we are gonna try our darndest to make it happen. Guys, if you like these Timu challenges, make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, we will run it back. We will do a different challenge from Timu. You guys get in the comment section, give me ideas. Now, as far as what we're gonna start with here, folks, this is tough. Let me explain. I mean, aside from these spinners, which they look awesome. In fact, these things are like super high quality, I think. But these feel like they might be like a quarter ounce or maybe even three eighths of an ounce. But everything in here, look how tiny this stuff is. Like, look at these extra wide cap hooks. They're so small. Quick look at this thing right here. It's so small, just by comparison. Here's like a normal, like two aught extra wide gap hook versus this thing. <laughs> it's tiny. This is like a number one size. I think just because of the sheer castability of these two, that's what we should start with. I gotta go with this guy. This looks super modern and just futuristic for some reason. But you guys get in the comment section, let me know what you would have started with. The little crankbait was definitely a contender as well. That's probably what we'll do next. All right, that don't look bad. I can also tell y'all with Certainty that those hooks are very sharp. Oh boy, okay. I'm ready for this, man. Dude, I'm so nervous. The first cast with these is always so sketchy because you just don't want to throw that massive backlash right out of the gate. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and crank the brakes down a good bit towards the maximum end. Typical standard magnetic brakes on the side right there. 6.3 to one gear ratio, 12 plus ball bearings. For those of you that care, I think most of us have moved past all this at this point in our lives, but you know, there's still some people that care. We'll have to set that tension nice and tight just to make sure the, the cows are still here. All right, first cast, we're just gonna have to go, oh, fish, where? Right there to your left. Oh yeah, I see, oh it's my gosh, it's a nice little bass. Oh, he's gonna see me cast, I don't wanna cast hard. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, I actually made a decent cast. Okay, I'm in the water. Oh my gosh, he's swimming right towards it, or I'm swimming towards him. Oh! Oh! I don't know where he went. It's so shallow, I couldn't pause it. That's a good sign when you walk up to the pond that you haven't fished in a couple months and there's a two and a half pounder yeah. sitting there in the shallows. Let me actually try to whip this one a little bit. Oh, that's so cool with the line, dude. That's really cool. It's so cool. It changes colors throughout the cast. That is so crazy. Oh, let's try to open her up again. Dude, she's doing great. I was about to say, it sounds decent. I mean, with a little bit of thumb control, obviously. I haven't yeah. got it completely dialed in yet. That's going to take a little bit more time. It's brand new. It's brand new, man. Yeah, give her, give her some time. Give her her first 100 casts before we know anything about her. That's my motto. Let's try to loosen the brakes up just a touch. Let her party. Oh yeah, we're getting it out there, dude. There's no problem. Now, we just gotta dial in on these fish with this little inline spinner. Never been a big inline spinner fan. I think I say that every time I use it, but I do acknowledge the fact that it's a classic lure and it's caught so many fish over the years for people. So I get it, it's a, it's a legit lure. It's an OG lure too, so nothing but love, but I've never been a big fan. Oh, that. Thanks, snake. Mm, snaky weather. <laughs> it is snaky. Let's hit the dock. Got to be somebody on that dock. What a cast, dude. I'm already throwing dimes with this thing. Got her dialed. <laughs> I mean, you got to wonder how visible this line is in the water to the bass, but I don't know, man. I know some people who don't even think that's a thing. 
I know people who've been fishing a long time and they think that line color most of the time doesn't even matter. So I don't know, y'all hit me with your opinion in the comment section. Let me let me hear all the opinions. Oh, here come the cows. Jeez, that scared me. Woo! <laughs> come on, cows, really? You're ruining the day. <laughs> I'm gonna cast right at them because they're probably like driving fish right now. Dude, they're coming right at us. Well, this is like their cool down, you know? This is their little bathtub. So we're kind of invading their territory right now. Also, check out my guy here, or my gal. She is straight chilling. Her day just got a whole lot better. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about disturbing the pond anymore. I mean, I'd say the disturbance has already begun, so. I want to disturb the pond, we'll do it for you. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Wow, okay. Maybe this is a good sign. Maybe this is a good omen. Oh, I just got cranked out there. Dude. The timing on that, my guy. I made a bomb cast to like the other side of the pond and was just slow rolling that inline spinner and he just got cranked. You gotta be impressed with the combo so far. Being from Timu, as much as it costs, all that, as kind of cheap as it looked when we were pulling it out of the boxes. I mean, for it to be performing this well out of the gate, I am very satisfied. Oh, there's a little bit of noise on the reel. A little bit. A little bit of noise on that one. But I mean, come on, what do you expect? I think I'm finally breaking it in. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Inline spinner. Can we get him in? <laughs> I'm trying not to make a whole lot of noise because there's a lot more fish in this tiny pond that we want to be able to catch. Look at that on the inline spinner. Look at him go. I will never talk trash on the inline spinner ever again. Okay. Wow, he had two hooks underneath the old chin right there. My guy was not getting away. These hooks are incredibly sharp. Look at that stud right there. That's a Timu bass, folks. To go from a 12 pound largemouth that I caught the last time I was using Timu gear to now a 12 ouncer. Actually, this is less than 12 ounces. Yeah, probably. This is like a six pack right there. But hey, we appreciate him though, because he bit. All right, buddy, get back out of here, you silly joker. Do you hear him? Yeah. He sound like a butterfly. He's like, yeah. okay, it's time to retreat back to the shade for a minute out of this 110 degree weather and tie on another lure. Well, we got a decision to make here. Are we going swim bait, which is probably gonna be effective, but it's gonna be hard to cast? Or do we go crank bait that might even be harder to cast, but it's probably way more likely to get a bite? I mean, look at that thing, it's so small. You gotta figure that thing's gonna at least get a bite. I gotta try it, I gotta try it. It's gonna be tough to cast, who cares? Cause it's gonna get bit and that's the important thing. And if I've learned anything about catching big bass and how to do it, you first gotta get a bite. You know what I mean? And this thing's gonna get a bite. It could also catch multi-species too. There's some very large shell cracker and bluegill in here. All right, that's a pretty gosh darn good looking presentation right there. Now I, oh, there's another fish right there. He came back. Let's see what he thinks about the crankbait. Oh, he's swimming right towards it. I don't know if he sees it. Oh, he definitely sees it. Oh man, he's circling around behind it. It, dude. Okay, let me just try to ease it out here. Luckily, I can kind of cast this thing. It doesn't really dive at all, but well, the casting's okay. Like, it can be done. I'm gonna have to ease up off the brakes a little bit more to get some distance. That thing's shaking down there like it's supposed to. It's wobbling. And although it doesn't go very deep, I love the little white feather on it, man. In the water, that little white hair on the back, it looks so good. It does. It just looks like a little bait fish. Just Scooting away. Oh, wow, I got that one out there. Okay. Gotta be honest, completely shocked by the castability of this reel. I'm just blown away. All right, get her out there. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, there's some big fish, right? What is that? Is that, if that's a bass, it's a monstrous bass. Oh, it might be a carp, but I don't know. It might be a bass. That was nowhere. It was kind of back a bit. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's right behind it. It's right behind it. Oh my God. If it's a bass, it's huge, man. If it's a bass, it's huge. It's right behind the crankbait. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. It's right behind it. I don't know what to do. I'm up against the grass wall now. Dude, he's right there. Don't move. Well, whatever it is, just followed my bait. Now it's heading out that way. That may have been a bass, dude. That was massive if it was. I mean, it was like a six or seven pounder. Talk, talking about that big. Yeah, at least. The thing is, it didn't respond like a carp at all. When this thing hit the water, it immediately turned around and nosed up at it. And then it proceeded to follow it. That's not carp. That's no. not carpy behavior right there. Not at all. It's okay. We're catching something on this. I'm guaranteeing it right now. Oh, there we go. Well, it was only a matter of time, let's be honest. That's true. Ooh, ow, I just tore my finger off. It was where the blue meets the yellow. That's where the problem was. I've had way worse backlashes on way more expensive reels. That's for sure. <laughs> You've seen quite a few of them. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Okay. You can't you can't quite just open this thing up and let her eat. You know, you gotta gotta baby it a little bit. Billia, especially. Oh! I'm, oh, I'm on! Oh my God! What the heck? He's jumping because he's hooked. What just happened? I think I got him on the fall. Look at him! He's swimming in. He choked it. He choked it. Oh! My dude. That was crazy. Oh! We need pliers. That was crazy. The lure hit the water. I was letting it sink, right? This guy came along and must have inhaled it upon entry, and I had not even started reeling yet. <laughs> But he knew he was hooked because he got it all up in his mouth and he started jumping. That was the fish that was jumping. That was wild, dude. I mean, look at how he ate that. <laughs> he devoured it. All right, there we go. Let's do a quick release here because I've had him out of the water for a little while. Come on, buddy. He's still a little sticky. I love you, friend. Thank you for being such an aggressive bass. Wow. That may have been a first for me all the time. That was sick, dude. Now, I've been bit on the fall many times. I think we all have been surprised by a bait just falling and not being worked and getting bit, but I've never had the bass that ate the lure come jumping out of the water, and that was what alerted me to I have a bite. That was the first in the history of my fishing life. That is crazy. That's also lure number two that has been checked off the list of that Timu fishing kit. So things are going pretty well. It is very hot still. It's almost noon, so we're getting, we're approaching the hottest time of the day. Yet the bass are still eating. Can't beat this. We are working our way through this fishing kit pretty nicely. All right, inline spinner, crankbait down. Now, let's take a look here. The terminal tackle is kind of wild here. The multicolored bobber stops. That's a new one for me. But I'm trying to figure out a way to use all this stuff. Dude, look at that. It's like a gubby looking thing. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Oh my gosh. That's got to get tied on. But yeah, man, I was really expecting some type of terminal tackle with weights. We might have to supplement in some of our own stuff just to make this work, but we got at least two more lures to go. Okay. How much confidence you got in that? Um, I don't know. I can't answer that yet. It's like a mermaid tail. It's got some things going on. It's like a mixture between a mermaid, a goby, a catfish, and a flying fish. A flying fish. Um, comment below, what fish does that imitate the best? Because it could be any of those things. So I ended up putting a little jig head that I found in the back of my truck that had a little bit of weight on there so we could actually cast this thing. But check that out in the sun. Look at all that shine from all the gold flake in there and the red flake. It's a very interesting looking creature so i don't know if the bass in here are going to be freaked out or if they'll want to eat it or maybe a little bit of both one thing i know is though these fish have been kind of slow to bite these moving baits but they are willing to bite so now that i have something that i can go slowly with on the bottom and actually hit key parts of structure 
I feel like our odds to catch a good sized bass just went up. Dude, this flash is so good. And I can cast it a mile. So we are, we are in great shape now. This is gonna work. That's an entry right there. We like that entry. Oh my God, I thought I had a fish. Oh, I did. I did. I bounced it off that dock. And I guess it just like fell right into a bass's mouth. I thought I was like hung, you know? I thought I was hung up on some grass. I just did the exact same cast. I could, wow, the accuracy is there. And just got cranked and got drug into the grass mat. The goby. Oh, wow, okay. Man, the bass in here are fired up yeah, today. I love it. They were in the Timu spirit. Oh, no, right in the, oh man, this is so much fun. Yeah, that's the one downside of fishing in grass. Downside of fishing in grass is you're fishing in grass. Yep. <laughs> and although there's tons of fish in that grass, by God, there's a ton of grass in that grass. Oh, dude, he tore off one of my uh, one of my side fins. Dang. Tore off one of my side fins. I knew I wasn't crazy. Look at that thing in the water, man. It's it does flash, don't it? It's fluorescent. Yeah, you could see it really well. I keep thinking that I'm seeing bass along this edge. It's so weird but I've really been spotting them today. I don't know if it's the glasses or what, but I mean, they're just cruising up and down this bank and we've seen that one big one mm -hmm. and some two and three pounders along the way too. Oh, oh, go, oh, I broke off. No. Dude, I literally saw that fish or I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. Dang, I broke clean off, man. Dang, dude, that was a big fish then. Oh my God, look at that. Oh no. And this is 20 pound braid and it just snapped. What? Dude, it's around my shoelaces. What the freak is going on here? They liked the goby so much, they attacked it with such vigor that they just snapped 20 pound braid. Rude. I guess we need to rig ourselves up another goby. We've only got, so. we've only got the one extra, dude. That's the real problem here. We only have one extra goby. I can't believe the joker broke me off, man. Yeah. Just straight up disrespected me. All right, we're back in the game. There it is. That's it right there, folks. That's what we needed. I think that's right there where the spring flows in. Oh, I got a fish, bro. Yep. Got him. Oh, got him on the goby. Heck yeah, dude. Gotta get him in right out of that spring fed creek the second cast <laughs> that was the second cast with my guy he's got a goby in his mouth almost looks like the last fish we just caught yeah, it does. dude look at that goby in his mouth on the goby baby that's awesome i mean i knew it was gonna work it looked so ridiculous but it also looked really good in the water that's a healthy little fish right there not a stud obviously but Man, number three on the third different Timu lure. See you, buddy. This is so much fun. I mean, this is literally the kind of stuff that got me to fall in love with fishing to begin with, is this right here. Just taking any equipment, any pond, any time, even at the worst times, like right now to fish, and making it happen. Man, this is so much fun. All right, I see a bass over here now. Of course, he, he like hears me talking and he starts swimming away from me. He's like, oh, the human can see me. Oh, there's a big bass right there in front of us, dude. Good sized bass. He's swimming that way. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest bass I've seen this pond in a long time. There's another one right there. There's like three right here. One of them was looking at the goby. The big one kind of pushed out. Dude. A freaking four pounder just emerged out from beneath this grass mat right in front of us, man. Three bass right in front of us right here. I didn't even make a cast over here, I don't think. Do I have a nut? There's no freaking way. I'm just gonna throw because I don't know. No, okay. Had to be like some grass or something. I broke off again. No way. It was a fish. How? How did I break off two rigs, two Texas rigs on braid, man? I don't know about this Sugaling braid, I don't man. Either, man. I did the hook set just in case and I broke off, so I guarantee you it was a fish. Had to be. 
Look, that's twice now on the braid. That looks like my knot came undone. Ooh, buddy. So that may have been on me. I don't know, we may have to edit that part out. I don't know. Either way, that's heartbreaking because that was our last goby. So I guess that's the universe telling me it's time to move to the last lure out of this kit and really officially bury this challenge by defeating it. So let's go get rigged up one more time. We've got an entire pond to complete this challenge. We've come too far now, boys. We gotta make it happen. Well, the only lure that we have left is this little paddle tail orange swim bait. And although a paddle tail is just a dynamite lure, in general, I'm not sure about that color. I also only have one weighted hook left, so that might be an issue at the rate that we're currently breaking off, which might be my fault, by the way. I'm not gonna completely blame the line, but I gotta blame the line a little bit, right? Man, I put this thing on like a freaking noob, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, I put that thing on weird. It's also not the correct setup, but you know, it might get a bite. I think, it, I think it'll work. All right, let's see how the old rig swims. I'm not too excited about this one. This is like the lightest rig by far that I've used today. So once again, on, the, on a bait caster, not really ideal, but I tell you what, that orange swimmer looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Look at that. I can, I can cast her. Oh, 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 oh. I'm on the third cast. He's got a mouthful of orange swim bait. Look at my guy here. Look at my guy. Dude. This is so sick. The sun just moved behind a cloud. Things are looking up on the little orange swim bait right there pulled it out of his gullet this has been wild man what a day we are having right now that's the fourth lure out of the kit all successful i've cut my thumb open somehow i don't know what's going on wow what a stud not really but man right now that fish feels so good to yeah, be holding dude. go back buddy Hood. dude this combo is absolutely dominating right now Look at this. How does this stuff happen? Braid. Like, honestly, how? It defies so much logic. So technically we have completed the Timu challenge, but I'm not satisfied enough. I want to put on an actual lure, something that I've got in the back of my truck that might help us catch that big fish that's been eluding us today. Plus, I want to see how this combo does with like an actual bass fishing lure, something that's meant for what it's doing and plus i'm gonna have to most likely cut this because this is just <sighs> if you know summertime fishing you already know what i'm about to say is true the stick bait this thing has caught so many stubborn summertime bass it's impossible to count them all and i feel like a six inch lunker log a natural color chuck it out there into some of this deep water and let that thing just weightlessly fall i think that equals the biggest bass in the pond that's just me all right, bag's going in the back pocket. There we go. Oh, yeah. I can chuck. Oh, yes. We're about to reach some new water that we've not yet been able to fish today. Oh, boy. With an actual lure. With an actual lure now. Oh, I got a fishy. No. He took my lunker log. How? Oh, hold on. Got a mile of line out. Don't know where the hook is. Oh, yeah. Dude, he got me. Now, what kind of a man just snatches a six inch lunker log off of a hook like that? Gotta be a good one. That was a man right there. Yeah, get her back out there into the deep. We're making it just past the purple into the green. Dang. And that's boy. the furthest we've been able to cast this thing. Well, that was a dime. Oh! I swear a fish just swiped at it. Unless I'm just seeing things, something, something definitely swiped at it. As soon as it hit the water, it started to disappear and something went shoo, right next to it. What a dime. Eat it. There he was. There he was. I think that, I think that was a donkey. 
why am I breaking off? This line sucks. I yeah. think we can all agree now, this line is not it. Oh my gosh. It's like every time I set the hook hard with this thing, it just snaps. I don't know. Immediate. It's gotta be the line. I can't take the blame on that one. And I got it a similar situation that I had earlier. Nice. So I made that first flip, right? And it was a dime. Remember I said, I saw something flash, something pretty long. Or at least I thought that's what I saw. Reeled it in, made a better pitch deeper into the dock where he, the fish had flashed to, smoked. Line went taut, went right down, hook set, break off. I mean, no chance. I had no chance to land that fish. I just don't understand. Yeah, that's a clean break right there. That's just a shoot. Dang it. How many, is that the third time today? I think so, man. Yeah, both gobies and that. Now, I'm willing to accept one of those as my fault, but that, that was not my fault, man. I couldn't have done it any different than that and got a better result. That was the one, man. It was. All right, folks, we're going to call it right here, but remember, there is that 10,000 like goal. Okay, if you guys hit 10,000 likes, which I'm sure you can very easily, I will run back a different Timu challenge. I'll change it up, do something different. Let's talk about this combo for a second. Let's talk about grading of this entire package, right? Like the whole thing. Because remember, this was all one package. The rod, I would give that a solid B, you know? Solid B, it works, okay? It was a pieced together rod, which I wasn't crazy about. I wish it was a telescopic rod, but the rod was fine. The reel, I'd have to give a B plus, because this thing did great only through like three birds nests all day and they're probably all my fault this was casting very light lures on a bait casting setup so between those two you almost had like an a grade you know what i mean now i have to knock the actual fishing kit a little bit here's why the hooks in there were ridiculously tiny even like too tiny for the plastics that were in there i think there was no weights you know so I'd say the fishing kit itself from a bass fisherman's perspective was probably like a C minus, you know? Once again, we gotta remember budget. This was all very inexpensive. So maybe like a C, just like an average C. Now where this kit loses me is its line, okay? This line, as pretty as it might be, and it might be very pretty, we really enjoyed that. But this line just cannot handle any tension. I mean, I wanna say that every hook set today, except for like one, it resulted in a break off. Because the moving yeah. baits, I didn't set the hook, I just leaned into them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when I was actually like throwing hook sets, it was snapping almost every single time. That's an F right there. I mean, if line's breaking that easy, if 20 pound braid is breaking that easy, I gotta give that an F. But overall, I'd still probably give the entire package like a C plus or even maybe even a B minus because you could easily fix this and put different line on this reel and you'd be in business and add a couple lures from your garage to kind of supplement what they send. But all in all, this was very surprising and a whole lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any giveaways or anything like that. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.